It's objectively true. We can know what a contradiction is. There's no contradictions in it. We know the law of contradiction. We know um, <clears throat> what a error is and mistakes. There's no mistakes in it. It's not like one minute it says this and then it gets it wrong or so on and so forth. So we, kn I know what I'm talking about. Does that make sense? So I'm saying this is objectively true. Yeah, and it's objectively verifiable that it hasn't. It's been preserved. And I saw your friend nodding. Why did you nod? I don't know. I'm just curious as to like. Because you didn't ask for my proof. I'm, I'm going to provide my proof. say that's right and it's obviously unedited, which I do agree with, but are you in doing so saying every other religion is wrong? No, but it has been translated. The Christian Bible is not what it was. Yeah. And by the way, you know, to be so much, academically it fair, it lost its meaning, right? there, there you go, there yeah, you go. Yeah. To okay. be academically fair, just because something... If I believed in God, I feel like I would follow Islam. To be honest, I just yeah. don't believe in God. <laughs> but why don't you believe in God? Where did That's I what know, I'm saying. That's, I just literally cannot wrap my head around there, there being a God. Yeah. So, so your proof is a book, <coughs> but I read books all the time. Well, that's not No, my that's not, that's that's not my, my that's proof. My, my, my proof is preservation. My proof is the fact that it talks about subjects it shouldn't know. For example, it talks yeah, about embryology 1400 yeah. years ago, yeah. where... Um, Professor Keith Moore, leading embryological expert, was given this information and he said it's not possible for anyone to know this when they didn't have microscopes. Yeah. It talks about embryology and um, how the womb, the, sorry, the fetus is formed, the eight stages, and it talks about it in the exact order it happens. Does it make sense? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, you can get one thing right, it's a fluke, yeah, no, I, but I, then, I, you I, then you get that right, and then you get that right, and then you get that right, and then you're talking about how Allah will bring you back to life down to the tips of your fingers, mm. yeah? Would your bones have turned into dust and you think like, okay, um, why, why talk about fingertips 1400 years ago? And now we realize every single human being, the fingertips is different, mm. yeah? So, <clears throat> believing in God, the argument the Quran uses is, is asked, did you create, your, um, did you come from nothing? Mm. Yeah, so now we know from nothing comes nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Then it says, did you create yourself? Yeah, and then that's a logical fallacy because it means you didn't exist. You came into existence to create yourself. It's like criminal I'm saying a mother that gave birth to herself. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, and then it says you have no certainty. So the fact of the matter is, at least you're honest. You don't know. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I'm saying um, that lack of certainty, I would say, is that look, you haven't actually spent time thinking about it. Yeah. Because yeah. if I was to say, sorry, I don't mean no, to be like no, rude. No, I don't mean, I don't mean in a disrespectful way. I, I mean in the sense that, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean in the sense that, look, <clears throat> if I was to say that it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator yeah. than to believe something came from nothing. Yeah, that's my claim. And I would say that, look, my definition of the creator, um, Allah, is <clears throat> something outside of the universe something powerful something independent yeah there's more definitions but just based on that would you have an issue to say that look to believe in that's what caused the universe no i don't have an issue with it at all i mean i don't know what <coughs> now, we, now now we can build yeah, on that yeah. because the reason i say a creator of the universe something independent because right now <coughs> the world has a lot of a whole lot of dependent things yeah, you've got us. We need oxygen. Oxygen. You need the trees to like take in the carbon monoxide and get that oxygen. And then the trees need the sun, and the sun needs that, and the this, the this, this. These are all dependent things. And I'm thinking, if we took that to its natural progression, if this depends on that, this depends on that, this depends on that, and then the universe depends on something, then what? Like you need something that's independent to put all of this into motion, or we'll never begin to exist. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I know. It took, I'll be honest with you, it took me a while to actually get I'm like, okay, because I heard an infinite regress, this, that, and I'm like, okay, so that's what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? And I can imagine, um, this isn't a foreign concept to you, that's how you get it. But when it comes to some of the first times, like, whoa, this is like, I don't get it, like, what do you mean? And da, da, da. But I'm saying that, look, <clears throat> at the end of the day, going back to my claim, it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator than to believe the universe came from nothing. And then who created God? Yeah, the obvious next that's question. That's always, yeah. <coughs> and that's fine. That is. But it's... So did Allah come from nothing? 
No, no, no. Allah didn't come from nothing. That means Allah began to exist. Allah is the eternal. Because there's a four line definition of Allah given in the Quran. Um, chapter 112 it says, Allah is uniquely one. He's self sustaining eternal. He doesn't have offspring, nor was he born, and there's nothing comparable to him, nothing equal to him. So when you ask the question, um, who created Allah? It's like, it doesn't make sense because Allah is uncreated. Because you need something which is independent, something outside of the universe, to create the universe. Or otherwise the universe wouldn't exist. Oh, the atoms collided and this created the atom. No, atoms created? Atoms <laughs> created, um, collided. And then this created the atoms and this created that, and this created that, this created that. And if this continued forever, it would never exist. Simple example. Um, <clears throat> I need your permission to read the Quran. Okay. And then you need to ask her permission. And she needs to ask a person. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to ask the person behind her and she needs to ask the person behind them and that continues forever yep, yeah. Would I ever get to read the Quran? Yeah, no. I wouldn't So when you ask the question who created God? Who created God that created God? Who created God that created God? Who created Allah that created Allah? Who created Allah? Who created Allah? Who created Allah, who created Allah? Yeah. And if this continues forever, you never begin to uh, think So I'm happy with the definition given in the Quran the perfectly preserved scripture that says um, and my evidence for the perfectly preserved is <clears throat> we have over 200 million people have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, in the language it was preserved in, in the language it was revealed in, which is Arabic. The Prophet Muhammad spoke Arabic, the Quran is in Arabic. 200 million people. We have, um, if you Google Quran Birmingham manuscript, we've got a Quran in Birmingham University that's been carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. This is non-Muslim academics, 1400 years ago. That's not even Muslim saying it. It's not. It's non-Muslim scholars. Because I could, I could cite. Go on. Yeah, but I believe in like the prophets and everything that they existed. You know, like I believe in Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah, yeah. So if you believe that, then it necessitates, um, and you believe in the Quran, yeah. So then. What's stopping you from believing what they uh, teach is the oneness I of God? I just cannot wrap my head around there being a God. Like, what does, what does that mean? Know, I I elaborate on that. It. I literally just cannot. My brain won't let me believe. I, when I was young, we were raised Catholic and I used to <coughs> beg to believe in God. Like I prayed to God that I would believe in God and I just never could. I don't know. Yeah. I love that. But like, I love religion. Like I think you know, and I do love yeah. religion. Let me, let me, let me. I respect it. Like you know. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. I think what happens is a lot of people and reject. And we were raised in a Catholic church. I don't know if you've heard about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I get the controversy there. Yeah. yeah. In Ireland. Yeah, no, no. Enough said. <laughs> enough said. Yeah. Don't, you don't need to elaborate. <laughs> um, look, I think I would struggle to believe in the God that you've been introduced to. Yeah. Yeah, and I, as I, as a Muslim, I reject the God that you was introduced yeah. to, a God that became a man, mm. a God that dies on the cross, a God that um, is all loving, but then there's all this evil that takes place. Mm. Yeah. Now Islam, we have ways to actually um, come to terms with all these things. We don't. We don't have the issues that other religions have with their deities like the bible says god created the world in six days rested on the seventh we don't have that concept <coughs> allah doesn't need to rest yeah i always get huh? exactly does it make sense so then these things will be like yeah like yeah, my god's not blue my god doesn't have six arms with an elephant head my god doesn't like did i mean blue eyes blonde hair with uh, in the desert like and dying on the cross and so on and so forth like no my god is uniquely one and we as muslims worship the creator not the creation yeah so when it's like <clears throat> the concept of god that you're rejecting i'll be honest with you i'll probably reject the same concept you have so let's start from a blank slate yeah and that's why i only mention few of the three attributes powerful yeah, mm. intelligent, yeah, independent, yeah. Can we agree on that? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah? So then let's agree on a few other things like um, all knowing, wise. Because you know, I was saying that as Muslims, we don't have this issue, the problem of evil. It's because we don't just believe Allah is all loving. Allah is all loving, but Allah is all knowing. Allah is all just. Yeah? I had somebody ask me a question. I don't want to really open up a new can of worms, right? But I just said like, I don't, for me, someone who's born and brought up in the West, I don't see that as an issue due to the fact that <clears throat> it's been legislated by the creator of the heavens and the earth. Now, if I don't have good reasons to believe in the creator of the heavens and the earth, then I can denounce and reject the rules and regulations and so on and so forth. Yeah? But I'm saying that, look, everyone's like, give me proof, give me evidence. Yeah, and I'm giving you proof, I'm giving you evidence, and you're agreeing with it. Yeah? I'm giving you a tangible thing. Like, imagine I said something happened 1400 years ago. Believe it. I'm not here, look, take yeah, it. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm going to give this to you. Oh, free of perfect. charge, yeah? This is for you. Sure? Yeah, I need a second one. Hold on. Oh, where's, my, so where's, where's my other hand? I need to clap. Huh? Look, we will see. Never Quran! <laughs> is the yeah. rules while reading it? Um, the rules is you need to know how the vowels and the consonants and the sounds that make. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just I see online that you have to like, if you're praying, you can't have your feet near it. It's not, it's not, it's not even that. It, there, there are, there are levels. No, no, not even that. Like, that's when you're doing the actual prayer five times a day. But this is an English translation. So this is, has different rules. Huh? But, has that lost its meaning? No, it's not. It's directly, directly translated from the original text. Where so our this has been translated 20 million times yeah, it's a from ancient languages that we don't even speak anymore. Yeah, thanks very much. Here you go, madam. You. So basically, Jesus spoke Aramaic, disciples spoke Hebrew. The oldest version now of the Bible you have is Greek or Latin, I forget. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. And then it's translated to English. So you've got translation of a translation of a translation of a translation. So it's well lost yeah. then. Yeah. 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 From dead languages. Yeah, and Aramaic is a lost language as well. Yeah. The Quran is Arabic because we memorized it per beta, um, we preserved the Arabic language. So now this is from Arabic to English. One straight translation. Yeah. That's it. Did I mean? And, and then it's like, <coughs> yeah, I know. yeah. And there's no, there's no like misinterpretation or um, errors when it comes to translation and interpretation due to the fact that we've got like one verse um, is a what's the word think of arabic words now yeah. um, it, it, it kind of describes and it gives a meaning to the other words the, the translate the, each verse connects with another verse basically so we use the quran to translate the quran yeah? yeah then you've got the understanding of the prophet muhammad then you've got the understanding of the companions yeah um which isn't overruled by the understanding of the prophet peace be upon him but i mean um so, coming back to why you can't believe in God, tell me, give me, give me, give me a reason. I, I, even, I can't explain it in words, I just... Do you want to draw it? Do you want to draw it? I'll give you a pen and paper, and just like some yeah. crayons or paint, yeah, paintbrushes. Yeah, I think it's because it's the Catholic God, and it just doesn't make sense to me that we can sin and do whatever we want on earth, and then as long as you're sorry when you're dead, all is forgiven. It's like, well, obviously you're going to be sorry when you meet the Creator. <laughs> there you go. So then, that's an interesting concept, because in Islam, and funny enough, someone asked me this exact same question today, and we don't, we don't have that concept in Islam. Yeah. So in Islam, it's like, look, if you've sinned, um, you can ask for forgiveness, but there's a per period of forgiveness that Allah can choose to use. Mm. So if you've wronged by Allah, Allah can forgive you. Yeah. But for example, the example the other person I spoke to said was murder. Yeah. So now for Allah to forgive you, you've wronged somebody else. It's not for Allah to forgive you because yeah. you've wronged somebody else. Yeah that person can choose to forgive you. Yeah. So what could happen is they could forgive you or um, they could give you their good deeds or take your bad deeds. Yeah? Or there's a period of purification that takes place. So again, this comes back to the justice of Allah. Yeah? Now there's one sin that Allah will not forgive. Yeah? And this is very controversial and I really shouldn't be saying this to you. And I should let you go and you're going to read the Quran. But I want to be honest with you. Does it make sense? And I don't think there's anything in Islam, where with a healthy understanding you're going to reject or have an issue with, right? <clears throat> the fundamental, the greatest sin, which is unforgivable in the sight of Allah, is disbelief. 
Disbelief. Disbelief. Not believing in Allah, not making partners with Allah, um, worshipping other than Allah. And I saw a look from your friend. What, what went through your head? Um, well, firstly, do you believe in a... Does Islam believe in a heaven? And hell, yeah. Right, so if I... And I don't believe, yeah. what does that mean for me when I <coughs> die? That means if you die upon this belief, then you wouldn't have met the criteria to enter paradise. So I'm gone down. Yeah, you're going to a warm place. However, yeah, out of Allah's mercy, um, hell wasn't made for people. Does that make sense? It's more like a deterrent. Yeah, and you're thinking to yourself, but look, I don't believe. But look, I've given you good reason to believe. I've had this conversation with you. Yeah, I shouldn't be here. I literally finished work, had a conversation. I was about to leave, and then I don't, I don't, I'm not here on Fridays. My days are Wednesdays. Yeah. So why, why am I here having this conversation with two people who are probably in a rush to go somewhere else on a Friday night? Does that make sense? From London. No, random. Very random. <laughs> that, that, does that make sense? So I'm saying that, look, why are you watching random stuff about Islam and people reading the Quran on your, well, on your social media? I social media. and they have such strong faith and it just makes me want to have that faith. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And... <clears throat> I have another I've, question on the Heb from Hell thing. So, go for it. From my understanding, just yeah. because I live with a Muslim girl and I, I learn quite a lot from her, yeah. at the end of the day, the Jewish God, the Christian God, Islamic God, the God itself is all from the same source. Okay. The, the stories, the telling, the yeah. prophets, different, but it all comes back to the same yeah, 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 hierarchy. Yeah. So if somebody believed in God as a Christian <coughs> or as a Jew, Will they not? Will they get let in? Even though it's different teachings. Do you know what it's not. It, the word of Allah. Yeah. Yeah. Because what happened was, like you said, all the messengers of God, we, yeah. we share them. So Abraham, yeah. Moses, exactly. Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, they all came with the same concise message from God. Yeah. But then when man-made elements got into it, it's natural fitra, it's natural we're born upon. Allah created us to be good, to. Um, believe in one creator, to want to worship that one creator. When you ask a child, is there a creator? They're going to say, yeah, there's a God. I believe in God. Yeah. Then society corrupts them. Yeah, my God is Jesus. He was a man with long hair and died on the cross. Like, that's not natural. Yeah. Um, where's the creator? You ask a child who's got pure fitra, where's the creator? They'll say, yeah. They're not going to say everywhere. Where's the creator? They're not going to, like, it's not pantheism. It's not like everywhere. God is not in my pocket. Does it make sense? When someone says, um, where is God? Now, God is everywhere. I'll be like, is God in my pocket? Is, is God in my hand? So it doesn't make, like, even you're laughing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, that, no, we know that, look, the Creator is above His creation. Yeah. Um, and even the Quran, it talks about how um, the Quran came down. The mercy descends. Do you know what I mean? These are all signs and Allah is above his throne. I don't want to go too deep into theology, yeah, right? No, I yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but to answer your question is, it comes to a point where there's elements of the truth that they reject to follow the desire, yeah. to follow the whatever man-made thing, loyalty to parents. Even one conversation I was having, it was heartbreaking. It's like she believed in everything. She wants to be a Muslim. She's like, yeah, I want to be a Muslim, um, but I'm too loyal to my dad. She literally just said that because my dad's not a Muslim and he's going to get offended if I become... And I'm like, but then that's not you submitting your will to the Creator. Does that make sense? Um, so I would say that, look, <clears throat> think to yourself, look into Islam, read the Quran. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think know. What's your name? Ridwan. Ridwan. And your name? Nicola. Nicola? Yeah. Karen. Karen. So, Karen. We know, we know what, what um, Nicola's belief is and she's not ready to believe in God just yet but she's not fully rejecting it either yeah? and I think at the moment we've agreed on a few attributes um, yeah, just, just one more question Nicola, one more question um, so yeah, <clears throat> you know now that I've kind of briefly clarified that look there's criteria sent to paradise. You just forget, asking for forgiveness when you die um, wouldn't be sufficient. And I think I touched upon the thing that, look, um, the greatest sin. 
and um, Karen, I asked you, like, why did you pull that face? And the reason I ask is, why wouldn't that be the greatest sin? Who are you sinning against? Look at how much corruption is being caused and how it's impacting people's lives by not worshipping the Creator. Do you disagree with me? No thoughts on it, really. Yeah. No, no pressure. <laughs> I just chucking you in the deep end. And the reason I ask that is when we follow our desires or we follow like, okay, this is what I think is right. Yeah. Then at a certain point, greed comes in. Power corrupts us. But the legislator, the creator of heavens and the earth, when they've said this is right, this is always going to be right said this is wrong, this is always going to be wrong, this is objectively wrong now. It's no, no longer subjective. Because whatever you feel and yourself and myself, yeah, without religion, think is good, can I guarantee it's going to be good in a hundred years time? Can I say that is what I think is good right now, is it good in another part of the world? Yeah. What I think is good right now, um, in another society, if I woke up on the other side of the bed, would I still think it's good? So I'm saying that, look, Allah has given us an objective way of living, which is going to be beneficial for us and all of humanity. And when we go against that, and we choose to disbelieve, and we don't submit to the Creator, then we're going to follow our desires. We're going to f um, follow money or so on and so forth, and then spread corruption. And I'm saying then that's why I would argue, um, it's like through my logic and my intellect and my logic is fallible, that disbelief in Allah is the greatest sin. Does that make sense? And obviously Allah said so. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the foundation and I'm just building upon that foundation, do you know what I mean? Which is, so then, yeah, that's where peace comes from, worshipping the Creator as well. So Karen, mm -hmm. do you believe in God? <clears throat> I'd love to as well, like it is, I respect it so much and I understand, I understand it and I try and learn as much as I can about it and the different religions at that because there is so many and you can't, can't just pick one knowing. I, for me, it seems impossible to say, okay, I know and I know about the Quran. I haven't read the Quran said, yet. Yeah, I know, I know. But without Thank you, Nicola, I appreciate yeah, that. She, um, she's on my team now. <laughs> Having learned everything about everything, yeah. it's so hard to pin. Like, it's just there's just too much, too much of everything and too much. Like, it's you were raised Muslim, correct? You yeah. always were. This is that. That's that. That's that. But, and I love that you have that. And that faith is yours. But for me, I've never been like ah. It's not even that. Just to this. add a bit of nuance to that, being born in a Muslim family. Um, if I didn't do independent research, mm. I don't think I'll still be a Muslim. Mm. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a second generation um, Bengali yeah. from immigrant family, came to this country and the Christians, the belief they had and their reasoning for why they believed was sufficient for them yeah. by, in Bangladesh. Yeah, whole <laughs> right? different story. And, now, yeah. and then now I'm in the UK and then I want to ask a question and firstly, I couldn't even articulate Bengali. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, um, they're like, no, it doesn't matter. You have to believe you're going to go to hellfire. And then all that kind of rhetoric really pull, pushed me away from Islam. And I'm like, I don't really want to believe in a creator that's like, just going to send me to hell for asking a question. Does that make sense? Because dialogue isn't um, going to send you to hell. Asking questions for the in intention to learn, to understand, challenging God for the purpose of understanding. There's no issue, does that make sense? Because yeah. Islam is a religion for intellect. Allah is asking you to ponder, to reflect. Yeah? Once you've asked all of your questions and you're satisfied, then believe. Does that make sense? Until then, ask, question, challenge. And then, that's not, that's not the Islam I was taught at home. Does that make yeah. sense? So me doing independent research like several years later, and I went through many journeys, and I'm quite embarrassed actually, mention it on camera. <laughs> But no, I went, I went through a journey and it was just, um, so I wouldn't say it was like me being born into it. Yeah. Um, and I would say that, look, honestly speaking, I don't, being, I don't think you're being, I think you're being disingenuous. Do you? Yeah. 
because I think when it comes to you don't need to know everything how many things do you know is uh, right that's, my, that's the way my brain works that's yeah and by the way I could be wrong yeah that's maybe the way my brain works. I, I, I believe yeah I know but there's many positions you hold and you're not an expert on that topic you don't know everything about that you're not like you haven't looked into everything and said this is right and this is why I'm doing that does that make sense um, so I don't know why and this is why I mean disingenuous that you're applying such a high threshold when it comes to faith and religion but do you not have such a high threshold yourself in your own faith like people who believe and who believe truly believe in, in their own religion it's not just Islam or whatever they have such a strong belief in it that they know categorically they are right and their God exists or whoever exists they know so strongly that's and to, in order to meet for me to have such a strong emotion I need to that's a separate point by the way stop worrying have a question about it. I need to know for sure XYZ is exactly what but that's it is. not that's not what you're saying that's my if you want certainty what is your requ requirement for you to be certain that Allah exists Islam is true I'd either like to meet him in the flesh yeah. or I need concrete proof okay now I've heard people make that statement as well right if you met God in the flesh you wouldn't believe it yeah 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 basically yeah that makes sense and then it wouldn't be a test of faith anyways if God appeared in front of you then then what what would you want a miracle prove your God what miracle would you want something that's um, timeless and something um, something miraculous and you're holding in your hands something that's per legitly perfectly preserved no contradictions in it talks about subjects as a professional because it created all of these subjects yeah I'm happy to have a conversation with you after okay, this I conversation what I'll do let, let, let's do this let's do this sir. I dare you after I've finished this conversation me and you're gonna have a conversation okay. yeah give me give me the be confident enough to have that conversation with me and then we'll see how much evidence you speak with and how much evidence I come with. Is that a deal? Yeah, Is that I a deal? See, he didn't want to shake hands on it. So thank you very much. You go, you can, you can speak to this gentleman if you like, because I would like yeah, to finish can, my conversation. That's why I offered you my hands to you. I'm saying that I will speak to you. Yeah. You speak. You bring your evidence. I'll bring my evidence. Yeah, okay. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. I'll shake on it then. Okay. <laughs> Let me finish speaking to them, and then I'll speak to you one on one, or five on one. I don't have issue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're saying? Uh, you were saying. Was I saying? I you don't were know what saying. I was saying. <laughs> um, evidence. God appearing in front of you, and I said, what yeah, proof yeah, would you yeah, want? Yeah. You would want a miracle, and then I'm saying that you're holding the miracle in your hands oh, yeah. does that make sense so yeah. again my level of conviction because I was clear in regards to what I need for my conviction yeah this book needed to be perfectly preserved yeah and I'll be honest with you if you watch any of my videos everyone's gonna be like hey just Is it on YouTube? it's on YouTube yeah um, Dawa to soul and Sam Dawa yeah soul I need that written down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys can make a note of it. And Sam Dawa and Dawa is spelled D A W A H. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's like, they're probably thinking like he just keeps saying the same thing because this is my criteria. I've got it memorized. Yeah. My criteria is it needs to be perfectly preserved. And this is the only scripture actually. Ironically, um, everyone would say I'm making a Quranic argument. Yeah. But this is coming through my own criteria, which alhamdulillah goes with the Quran. The Quran says it's from Allah. Allah will preserve it and if it was from anyone other than Allah there will be contradictions in it there will be errors in it so my character is it needs to be perfectly preserved yeah there can't be any mistakes in it and the message needs to be perfect practically doing it brings happiness to people do you know what I mean there's nothing in Islam which is forbidden which is good for you and there's nothing promoted in Islam um, which is bad for you now um, you might think like yeah if I did this um, it makes me happy I'm talking yeah short-term happiness perhaps long-term yeah it's going to lead to destruction yeah 
So what would you need? What is your level of criteria for you to actually believe in a creator? Because you can't, you can't say that, look, we, you can say whatever you want, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look into every single religion. Yeah. And then what? Why don't you have, uh, figure out, okay, it needs to make sense, it needs to be coherent, it needs to be preserved. These are my criteria. Whatever religion meets that criteria, I'm going to submit to it. Well, we have reading to do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Saved by the Nicola. <laughs> no problem. We're here every Saturday and I'm going to... You can, you can ease up on this conversation. Oh, yeah. when you, where are you going to... flying back to Ireland tomorrow, yeah. so this was quite the chance. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any questions for me before you go? It would be, be good to see the full process of Islanders. Is that what you guys are called? <laughs> Islanders. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Irish, sorry, sorry, I'm joking. I'm winding you up. <laughs> I'm winding you up, I'm winding you up. Yeah, I don't know. I will get back to you. I'll write you a comment it... on your YouTube. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please verify his, his claims about the preservation of the Quran because it's currently that's bullshit. He's last currently. Okay, sir, 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 sir. Wait, wait, while we're here, sir, get your phone out. Google Quran Birmingham manuscript. Do it now, sir. Embarrass me. Embarrass me. Pardon? What about the Google Samarkand Kofi Quran, which has key textual differences from the modern Quran? What are you talking about, sir? Right now, you asked me to back up my claim. Which Quran? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You asked me to back up my claim, so discredit my claim. Quran, Birmingham manuscript. Sorry, I'm not happy to be recorded because last time I, I discussed with someone from... I don't know who someone is, so I've never met you. You've never met me, so you can't conflate whoever you spoke to. This is, this is going to be on camera, sir. I wouldn't... to discuss with me, it has to be without recording. I'm happy to do that after you've responded to kind of trying to embarrass me here. And I've asked you to pull out your phone, Quran, Birmingham manuscript, and then see what part of my claim is incorrect. Is non-Muslim academic saying it's preserved? Yes or no? Yeah, are non-Muslim academic saying it's been perfectly preserved? Not perfectly preserved, preserved to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As well as, because I don't want to say perfectly, because I don't know if that's the rhetoric they would use, but it's been carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is in another way, perfectly preserved. Yeah, yeah. Semantics. Well, thank you but, but, but the Quran no was written so during the life of the Prophet 